Hey guys, Lance here, and I'm doing a late night uh, video showing off something that I found uh, at Value Village where I work. Uh, and I've had this for a few months now, but I just never opened it up. But I just remembered them, and I figured, eh, need to go ahead. So, these are catalogs from 1985 and 86 of Doctor Who as well as the Doc the Whovian Times which is the Doctor Who fan club of America. So let's take a little look see in here. So this was like old merchandise being shown and the like. So this was really really cool to find. And they were selling for really cheap. They sold they were sold for like $20 each, I think, for $2, not 20 my mistake. So, which is, frankly, just an absolute steal. Like, look at that. Imagine getting one of those, and having one of those shirts would probably be a real treat to get if we could find one that was in good condition. And a Doctor Who TARDIS as well. Just picture some of these... This page probably could have been cut out years ago if someone felt the need to buy themselves a TARDIS. And just posters of the, all the way up to the, from the first to the sixth Doctor. There's more posters. And it's just, it's just a really, really cool find. And from the 80s, somehow managed to be kept preserved and even one for like I'm, I'm i'm looking at if the camera seems a little janky i am looking at it outside of the camera view because heck i want to see this a, a doctor who cookbook wow they had it all they had a lot of stuff here wow it's just a whole bunch of stuff. This is the order form in the back here. So this one right here is just is just a catalog for some of the merchandise and, and right. Oh man, that's beautiful. Right on the back, it's Tom Baker. And uh, let's see what the Whovian Times had to show for us. And there's there's actually one more thing after this. There's another one I haven't opened up yet. So this, uh, actually, I can actually see the name of the person who used to own this particular one, but I'm not going to show it uh, for privacy reasons. I don't even know that person's still around, but just in case. Okay, come on. Okay, so Who's Corner by Dr. Frog. Okay. All right, so there's a table of contents. All right. Interesting stuff, very interesting stuff, and I'm extremely glad I managed to find it. Huh? Yeah, these are things I'm going to have to look up, look through. I'm like, oh, oh, no, don't. I need to be, need to be careful. <laughs> look at that old school Cyberman, Cyberman shirt. Just imagine someone Photoshop, not Photoshop, edited to get. I think that's an edit, because I don't think that's actually Patrick Troughton wearing the shirt. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Yeah, but these are really cool, and you're just gonna be hearing me talk about this stuff. Uh, oh man, there's even a word search. A word search. There. I am not even going to bother. I would love to actually do a word search like this, but I am not touching this because this is very much a collectible right here and I do not want to damage it. And then right on the back here. It's like for interviews. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put those up. You guys are about to see a bit of a blank right here, but that's just me uh, getting this next one ready and opened up. 
Okay, so I'm gonna at least pop it to where you guys can see. All right, there we go. So let's pop these bad boy this bad boy open too. Come on. There we go. Come on. I actually need to get back to look, watching some of the old classic who I have all of them and, and it's actually a bit of a and while I'm getting this open I actually have a bit of a story as to how I was able to come by all of them because it was actually gifted to me some but uh, when, when I first moved back down to Georgia I was taking online classes for college come on I'm trying I'm trying not to damage this the wrapping too much so I can have something to put it back in anyways uh my first, I did a year of online classes in my second semester, though. Uh, I dropped down to two classes instead of four. Uh, I did complete the first two the semesters uh, from the first the first semester. Anyways, uh, drop under you know, paper clip or staple. But anyways, what for some reason, earlier in the second semester, my computer stopped working. Like, I don't know what the issue was, but for some reason it just was not working. So my dad decided, so I, my dad actually took the computer in to get it fixed. And turned out, uh, I had a, and I had a David Tennant wallpaper for the laptop. And the person who my dad took it to looked at that and asked my dad if I was a Doctor Who fan. He said yes. Told, told the guy yes. And so when... My dad called and told me that this guy was getting it ready to fix. He said he would throw in, out of his own time, a hard drive full of all of the classic Doctor Who stuff. Everything that was available, even the audio from the bits that were, uh, re that were not properly archived. Meaning, I have audio from episodes of Doctor Who that are never going to see the light of day because they are... No not weren't archived properly you can't see what they did so i was like holy crap mind blowing and i pretty much got it all except maybe one season of matt smith's run i wasn't able to find a couple of his episodes for some reason but it's all the way up until the point matt smith regenerates so i pretty much have all the doctor who that i need but anyways we now have this other open and Get that turned around. Another issue of the Whovian Times. Again, towards the j person. Oh, right there. Let's see what this one is. Uh, where's the date? Oh, oh. Come on. Volumes 12 and 13, 1985. This other one was volume 14. So this one came right before. Well, you can see the fraying. Come on. Focus. Focus. Hmm. It's taking some time to focus. But anyways, you can see what it is. Now let's get this puppy opened up. One other who's corner. Another, apparently there's another word search in here. I'm going to be going through it slowly, trying to, trying not to damage it, but yeah, this is just absolutely cool. Yeah, there's a little, uh, little trivia bits about certain episodes too. Patrick Troughton did double duty in The Enemy of the World. He appeared as both the Doctor and as Salamander, would-be dictator. An advance in video editing technology allowed Patrick to actually meet himself, although the scenes were filmed on different days. Note the harder look the ma makeup man gave Patrick. Uh, or, note the harder... Oh, you know, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I'm not going to read all of it. There's even a thing on William Hartnell. That'll be interesting to read later. Interview with uh, Peter Davison. Man, these are just 
these are just neat. This is just really, really cool to find. Oh, look at ugh, look at Patrick Troughton's hair next to Colin Baker's. He certainly aged up. Oh, some old wear or something in there. Yeah, word shirts, sh word search. No. Oh, 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 don't damage. An art contest. Huh. That is really, really good. And all of that is just so good. Imagine being a Doctor Who fan and actually getting physical, physical newsletters for something you enjoyed. Gallifreyan Revolution. All right. Oh, oh. Still got to be careful. I'm trying to do this all. You know, I'm trying to do this all one-handed. Like, oh, oh, wow. This is. Oh, this is a whole story right here. The Revolution of Gallifrey. All right. So. Or well, mo or multiple stories even. Wow. That is absolutely okay, and that's the end of that one. All right, but still, still, even so, oh, and there's a interview with Nicole Bryant on the back. But anyways, this is all really cool, and I'm sorry it took, and I'm kicking myself for taking so long to, to check this out. But even so, it's cool to have a bit of Doctor Who fan history in any form so yeah that's just gonna wrap up this video I'm glad I found these things so I hope you guys enjoy taking a look in the past with me and let's hope their future looks brighter